And now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today I'm going to be jumping into more microprocessors here, mainly the composite values within the microprocessors that allow you to actually send the different data points through the connectors. Basically, it's used a lot for the trains, but I guess you could use it for like a trailer type of setup for a truck, maybe. But the main use is for the trains that have just been added into the game. And if you guys are a bit confused about what's happening, happening here i will explain everything and um yeah just stay tuned but of course um a disclaimer real quick if you guys don't know like basic logic in the game i'd kind of stray away from the composite values just because they are a bit difficult to actually understand once you've got them down though you can create your own systems for the setups for your train but for right now um they're 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 a little bit difficult if you don't know what you're doing but i'm going to be starting a new one and we're going to be making a composite system that basically we're going to have the um the front cart here and it's going to be sending values back to the other carts that we have so we're going to need a composite value of course and then we're going to need one on off and two number values and we're doing this number value just for a light we're going to have on each cart and we're also going to have our input for our throttle as well as the brakes and naming all these things will help you out a lot when you are connecting stuff up to them because it tells you the name right over them and it just makes it neater as well in the logic scheme so now we can take everything out of here and we're gonna have to use some write commands the composite write commands if you don't know where they are there's a full composite section here with a read number on off and a write number and on off and we're going to be using the right number and on off now and of course if you guys do want to use the right 32 number and right x32 on off you can but they're much bigger they're much bigger clunkier and they take more room so i'm just going to be using the right values here and all i have to do is put one down for each input value we have here making sure that if it is an on off input it is an on off composite right thing and if it is a a throttle you're connecting it not a throttle but a number input it is connected to a composite number writer here so we connect all three of these up to them and we're going to keep our throttle on channel one it's going to write to our first channel we're going to take the brakes and move them over to channel two and our light is going to be moved over to channel three and what's happening with these different channels is when it writes to the composite it'll encode basically the values you're sending from the input here into this channel and it'll send it through the composite value and real quick i actually do need to send this to an output here so we'll input that at the end of our system the next thing we need to do is string all of these together. It doesn't matter what order you string them together as long as they are all stringed together. And you can leave one open. You're just sending these values through here into the input. And now that is all you need to send these three values through there. And we can save this thing up and we'll just save it as um, our composite one here. And let's go and create a whole new one. So that is all we needed to do for the first one. So we're going to call this one cart 2 slash 3. Not car, cart. And we're going to put four logical nodes on here as well. And we need one being a composite input. A One needs to be an on-off output. And the other two need to be number outputs. And we're going to name them like we did with the other um, microprocessor there with brakes, throttle, and light as well. And now we're going to go back into the logic and space everything out yet again. And we're going to take our input. Now we're going to decode those. Um, we're going to take a read value and put one down for each value you have here. So making sure that you have a number for a number value output or a read for a read value output. And all we have to do is connect this thing up 
to it and this input here is going to send our composite value to each of these and now we have to specify which channel we want this composite read number to actually read from our composite value so for the throttle we have it set to channel one on that first microprocessor now for the brakes we have it set to channel two so we want to change that over to channel three or channel two excuse me and for the light we have that set to channel three and we will put that on there and we can save that up now as our composite too and we are done with the microprocessor side for this basic system here now i'm actually going to go and grab the first cart the video composite train one and we're going to replace the microcontroller on the back so we can go down to our microcontroller um, space here and find front cart and cart two three and we'll take both of those we'll put front cart on the one with our control center here we're going to put brakes up to these brakes and our throttle up to the throttle value here as well as we're going to be connecting that light up to our light one toggle here and for the composite value all we need to do is take our input and connect it up to the composite data sent and that's all we have to do for our video video train one here now we're going to grab the second and third one and the second one and third one are a little bit different because we are receiving data here so we'll take our cart two three and we're first going to have to connect up the composite values and you guys aren't going to have this line going across so we're going to take the data received and connect it up to the input over here but we're also going to want to take the composite data received and run it over to the data sent over here and what this is going to be doing is it's going to send data from the first cart over to this microprocessor controlling this cart and it's also going to send it through this cart to the next connector on your third fourth fifth and so on cart but for right now i'm only going to be doing three cards but you can um, add as many um, number two cards as you want into your system to make it work but now we need to add in our values here connecting it to that light to the brakes on this cart and to the throttle with the small motors and now we can save this up as our video train composite 2 and let's load up the third and final one here and we're go i'm going to replace this one again just to show you once more what you're going to be doing just connecting up the light the brakes as well as throttle and then for the composite value all you need to do is connect up the data received up to the input and that is a full train here with composite values running through it to control things. I'm going to spawn it in real quick and I'll bring you guys back in once that is done. All right, now that I've got the entire three cart system set up here, we can set off and we're going to increase our throttle to a positive value and decrease the brakes. And now that we've got that throttle running, all three carts are actually pushing me right now. And then if we throw the brakes on, all three of them are braking, so it's pretty easy to stop. But we can also turn it over to night mode real quick. And we can watch this light back here turn on. Both lights turning on from that one button you turn on. So yeah, that is some simple composite values from the front car being sent to cars behind it. And now I'm actually going to go to the workshop real quick once more. I'm going to show you guys if you do want to add more into here what you need to do so I'm going to grab composite one and if you guys want to add more inputs into here all you have to do is let's say add two more into here let's put a uh, number and an on off value on here so number and on off value and we're just going to leave them as input names right now all you have to do is drag them over get a couple more right values here one for right number and one for right on off connecting them up to each of these respectively and then connecting those to your system and you have to remember that each um, composite value each data you're sending through the composite value needs its own channel so we're going to actually change this over to channel 4 
and channel 5. And that is a perfectly um, working composite value from your front cart, sending um, three numbers and two on-off values over two carts behind it. And um, we're going to also set up the one behind it as well. And all we need to do is set up one read number and one read on off. And we're going to have to put two more um, outputs here as well. One being a number and one being an on off. Set that up real quick. Output, output. And all we need to do is take those two and plug them in like the other ones. Remembering what channels you put these on. I believe I did four for the number and five for the on off. I could be wrong about that though, but yeah, that is the basics to composite values. Of course, if you guys don't want the huge clunky um, connectors like I was doing in my other video to send values between trains, you can send it through these composite values, but you need to encode and decode them between carts to send it through that one composite value. And of course, there is the problem of sending values back and forth and controlling the train from multiple points. That is a lot, it's very difficult to do with composite values, and I probably will be bringing out um, videos on it in the future. I know um, MR in Jersey actually has a working system to switch control between different carts um, uh, through the composite values. Um, so he'll probably be doing something on that soon, I assume. I don't know. But um, yeah, that is about all the time I do have for Stormworks today. So if you guys did like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But I've never been great goodbyes, so people need me, and I need to go.